The Telstra 2019 Tasmanian Business Women's Medium and Large Business Award winner is Tricia Squires. <laughs> Um, thank you everyone and thank you to Telstra for recognising women here tonight and for all the women that I've met and the people that I've looked on on LinkedIn in the last couple of weeks, I've appreciated learning about a lot of Tasmanian women. I first started working for AFL Tasmania two years ago. I'd moved here from Melbourne three years ago. I'd had two CEO roles and I thought I was coming to Tassie to have a little bit of a career break, um, which didn't necessarily happen. I started working um, part-time when my second daughter, Holly, was uh, six weeks old. And then I did that for 12 months. And then last year in February, I was appointed the first female state CEO, um, which was obviously a really proud moment for me. Most importantly, I got to share that with my two daughters, Harper and Holly. In my role, there's several challenges in um, football in Tasmania. Um, and which are things that I've got to work through in my day-to-day -day role. What I'm passionate about is that we grow the base. We get more young people playing football. We get boys and girls playing. We have vibrant comps in our state. We have clubs that have got enough players to field a team every week. And we develop people who want to play AFL and AFLW. And that's really important to us. Um, during my time as CEO in the last 12 months, we have increased participation by 6%. I want that to be a lot higher, but that's where we got to, so we're at least going forward, not backwards. Um, we've got our under-18 boys playing full-time in what's now called the NAB League this year. The girls will start next year. We got an extra $1.4 million into football in Tasmania through a steering committee recommendation that happened last year. But for me, the highlight of all of this has been the work that I did um, on the bid to get the North Melbourne Tasmanian Kangaroos, um, which is the AFLW team that just um, entered the competition. That has meant that eight Tasmanian girls can live in Tasmania, they can play football at the highest level, um, and three of those girls work full-time for AFL Tasmania, and to watch them live their dreams in the last six weeks has absolutely made some of those tough days worthwhile. And one of my best moments of being the CEO of AFL Tasmania was when I heard my daughter Harper tell her friends at the Early Learning Centre that her mum was a boss of footy. <laughs> so thank you, everyone. <laughs>